Trying to figure out why the fans are not turning on for the radiator. I took out the relay. This one has some burn marks, but so I took out the one for the AC since I don't have an AC here. I took the one for the AC, put it in the low. This would be a uh, red fan, the low level. And then I put the low to high. This one was burnt. I don't remember if this one was on low or high. So I'm, not, I'm gonna let it get up to temperature and see if this actually kicks on. It could be the fan, the fan's old. I mean, you can see there's rust on it there. Um, so it's very possible that it's the fan, but I could have sworn this was working before I stored it here. So we'll see if it, uh, if it changes. Temperature's high, fan's not kicking on. Nothing happening, so. Oh no, it is. It's on. Barely. Barely. So it is the fan that's the problem. So we're going to have to get that replaced. But that's a good sign. Um, so we know it's not the wiring. The fan did just come on as you guys saw that. So that's good to know. All right. We got that figured out. Time to shut this out. I would rev it, but there's a party right over there. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, if you're like me, make sure to check out that uh, the airplane that's going above me. No, the, the Flavor Frenzy in Addison, Illinois, if you're in Chicago, check them out. Every Sunday they have that car show going on. It's a tons of fun. I like all kinds of cars. I'm not one of those people that's like stuck to a certain brand or a certain type of vehicle or a certain um, you know, region of vehicle. I just, I like it all. Uh, it doesn't matter. Cars, Baja trucks. Um, muscle cars, European cars, Japanese cars. Granted, I definitely lean more towards Japanese cars, but, but I like it all. Anything I can have fun in, anything that looks good, anything that I can build and have, you know, enjoy myself with, I like it. So make sure to check them out if you're in town, Addison, Illinois, Flavor Frenzy, Car Cruise, bring your car if you have one. They don't care what it is, old, new, um, import, domestic. Doesn't matter, bring it in. That's it.
so yes, the battery is full. But it starts dropping down to 12.5, which is still fine. But it doesn't register that the alternator is good, which I think I'm having a low charge issue with the alternator, which apparently on the Hondas, on this particular model, this is normal. Uh, this, this is a known issue, or at least that the alternators have an issue. I looked online at AutoZone, the alternators for the Gold, Duralast Gold, brand new, not a remanufactured one, is $500 from AutoZone. That's not including the $50 core charge or $40 core charge. So I'm going to Honda to see if the alternator is going to be covered. Because I have a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. It's got 70,000 miles, only had it five years. Let's see what they say. Otherwise, yeah. But I tested, I know the tester is good. I tested a bunch of different other cars, a 2012 Tahoe, uh, 2006 Honda Accord, a uh, Santa Fe, Hyundai Santa Fe 2017. And they all test good for the alternator. They always have a proper charge. This is the only car right now that I've tested that doesn't have like a consistent 14 plus charge, like 14.6 or whatever the number is. Um, and that it doesn't say that it's good. None of the lights are, as you can see here, none of them are on. It's not high, it's not good, it's not dead, but regardless. So I'm gonna go right now to Honda, see what they say. As I'm editing this, I didn't even give you guys an update at all on the alternator. Claiming Honda claims that the alternator is perfectly fine, even though I got it tested both by my tester, as you guys saw, and also as well I went to AutoZone just to make sure maybe something is wrong with my tester or maybe there's a different way to test the Honda one. Nope, they tested as well and they said that there is something indeed wrong with the charge system. However, took it to Honda, uh, we were there for, the car was there for three hours. I took it there at like 1.30 p.m. And the car ended up being there till like 4.30, 4.45. I literally got there and he was like, oh, I just checked it. Um, it's good. I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't know what that means. I, how did you check it? Did you like plug it in for two seconds? Like you gotta let it run for like a minute or two before the charge, like it detecting that uh, that there is a charge issue. So they claim it's good; it's still running. I haven't noticed any issues. We'll see what happens. If it if it goes out, it goes out. Back to the video. So you might be asking yourself, why am I showing you us cleaning the garage? Well, one, the garage needed to clean up, but that's not why I would show you guys anything like that because on this channel, I try to make sure it's 100% based on automotive stuff. Obviously it's a garage, so like, oh, you're gonna fit your 240 in there. That would be the better plan, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be smart. Uh, however, the 240 already has a lot of problems and I'm planning on next year sometime to get it to a body shop and it's gonna need a lot of overhaul. Yes, I'm keeping it. Yes, I'm gonna pay the money to fix the rust. That's just me. I'm gonna keep the car, so I'm fine. I'm not gonna go try to find the new chassis. It's a cemento thing regardless. Now you're gonna be like, okay, so what is, what is the point? What are you doing? What, what's the point in the garage? Is your cousin gonna park finally in his garage? That would be the other smart thing right he would use his own garage park it no nah, no nah, i got i got something for you guys i'm a little i'm a, i'm a little excited i'm really little a lot excited this is what we got we have a 1995 ego talon 
TSI, all-wheel drive, turbo, 4G63. I've wanted a GSX or Eagle Talon TSI for the longest time. I wanted this generation for the longest time, and I finally got it. And I got to give props because this was my friend's car, and I he got a GTR, and he has a bunch of other toys, and he simply just does not have room for this. He didn't want to get rid of it, and so instead, he said... How about you take it off my hands and you can pay me whenever you have the money as long as I don't have to waste more room on it because he just simply has too many toys and he couldn't fit it. So I took it off his hands. We made room. It's going to be stored so the, the weather doesn't get to it. We got some, I can't talk, Rays G Games, 77 A's I believe, and they're 18 by 8. However, they're not my style. They're great wheels. They're just not my style. So I'm going to be changing those at some point. We also have a new tire combo on there too, Falcon Tire. Obviously, since I'm going to be changing the wheels, we're going to go with a, another tire. I, I want to be, try to fit a 235, 245. That's a 225 currently. Sorry with the background noise. I love the color. This is from the old GTRs, so not the new stuff, but like the R32s and stuff. This is a GTR gray, not exactly sure of the color. It is automatic. I know we will swap that out to a manual at some point. It's gonna be a huge job, but I don't care. I'm gonna do it because I love my manuals. And I wanna change this front bumper. I'm not a fan of Blitz bumpers. I used to be back in the day, but not anymore. So we're gonna be getting rid of that bumper for something else. I like the side skirts. I like the rear but I don't like the bumper, so we are gonna be changing the bumper. He's done a huge ton of work. I mean, the, the automatic transmission's actually built. The motor's built. It's got all manly internals, forged internals, but we are gonna uh, swap out the automatic for a manual. I just love manuals. That's my only problem. I love, I don't know what it is. I love driving manuals. Also, right now it's on springs with regular struts, so it's low. We are gonna change these over to TN coilovers teen tn whatever you want to call it so we are going to toss coilovers on there and let's see here let's uh let's get in the car real quick ah, where's too many keys in the pocket we do have some uh we have some uh, bucket seats already, bombs raising, bombs raising, I don't know the name. We got some, uh, what is this, Cyper Auto, um, uh, harnesses, Jesus, I can't use my words. As I said, it's an auto. We need to fix a bunch of things. These gauges are not fully seated, so we are going to have to get that set up. going to get a new radio. I have one in mine. Um, E-brake doesn't work, so we're going to fix that. Um, definitely gonna get new harnesses because I want a five-point harness at least so we are gonna change that we, we have the headliner in the back but for now we're just gonna keep it off because we got to work on it like I said I have a radio unit in mind that I have to get now all this won't happen for a while but I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a, a intro to the car and while we're here it does run I drove it here all the way um, so obviously I'm gonna go ahead oh can't do that. I have to take out the battery. I'm gonna put the plug the battery in real quick. It does have a disconnect, so we can make sure the battery doesn't doesn't drain. Also, uh, ooh, it's warm. So we got a basically like a quick disconnect here. All right, let's, let's give it a... Said, bunch of work done, full uh, three inch exhaust all the way back, no, no anything, we got a, Stop turbo for now, but we do have Evo injectors that we can put in. It's loud, I'm gonna talk over it. Evo injectors, we're, get, we're gonna go with a different turbo, a little larger so we can get some more boost in it. Like I said, it's, the, it's a forged engine, so it's ready to do some boost. 
Um, yeah, we just have to get a bunch of work done and um, it'll be tons and tons of fun. For a while it'll be automatic until I can do a full swap, but we will do that at some point. But I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys think. Just a, just a quick rev. I can't do this, it's night time. That's it. Can't keep doing it, we got neighbors. Ah. But yeah, it's got a lot of things that need to be done, but it works, it runs, it's in great condition. I have, uh, yeah, I have zero issues with it. I'm super excited, super stoked. Um, one of the, the alternator belt squeals, so we have to figure that out. We gotta make sure it's not a pulley issue or maybe it's just the belt's old because it hasn't been driven. Maybe there's cracks in the belt that just has to be replaced. But I am, yeah, I'm excited. There's another thing we got, uh, as you can see, the lights are still on. For some reason, they stay on. We do have to figure that out. Reverse lights don't work. We have to figure that out. Listen, there's work. It's not in perfect condition, but it's in good condition. It was repainted. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I'm stoked. I'm excited. I'm excited. But in a bit, we're going to get uh, all this off of there. And we're going to just move it aside so we can fit the car in. And we're super stoked. It'll fit. We made sure we measured with and length so it'll fit to go in there this is just some garbage that we gotta toss but it'll go in there no bad weather for this thing <laughs> 